In my last video, I showed how I almost fixed an Atari 4, uh, not 410, an Atari 1010 cassette drive. Almost because it wasn't completely fixed. Uh, I replaced the belt for belts. So the belt for the drive and the belt for the counter. And I got it working. It could read programs off the tape, but it was having problems rewinding and uh, you couldn't save a program to tape. So that was a problem. So it was incomplete. And uh, I think I found out why. So this video is is to explain how to fix an Atari 1010 cassette drive that doesn't rewind correctly. It kind of like, it'll start to rewind and then it'll like slow down and stop in the, you know, in the middle of rewinding something. And, uh, it's also kind of connected, I think about recording programs. So I'm going to go in on how I think I fixed it. Okay. So after eliminating the possibility that it was a electrical problem, why it was like kind of starts stopping rewinding, you know, you go to rewind a tape and it would like just kind of slow down and stop and start again and stop and slow down. And so I cleaned, you know, these contacts and, you know, uh, this one, which I think this is for the play. This one is, is the one for the fast forward and the rewind for the motor to get power to it, I think. Uh, that was the problem. So I figured out, okay, it's got to be mechanical. And for anybody that has ever worked on cassette tape drives, <laughs> know that it's kind of a complicated symphony of things going on when you press a button. And, uh, you know, the most simplest part is about where it, you know, makes electrical contact. That's simple. The mechanical stuff is the complicated stuff in my opinion. Uh, so it's like, oh man, how am I going to troubleshoot this? So I just, you know, meticulously went through it. You know, every action, seeing what it was doing. And I came across this thing. Okay, this piece of plastic right here. I'm not going to take this back off. All right. <laughs> that was, it was really aggravating about getting it on and off. So, but anyway, so this, this plastic piece it's like a pen a pendulum kind of in a way uh that if you press fast forward or advance it will move this piece this this way and if you press rewind it'll bring it back this way and that engages a uh, little gear a little cog wheel for or rewind to connect it to the uh, the spindle that turns the cassette tape to rewind it. Well, I noticed that there's this little mark on here. You can't hardly see it. Uh, it's like a it's like a graphite. Yeah, up there. It's like a graphite mark. Well, well, this thing will pop up. That's what this little metal bar is for is to hold it down while it's moving around. Well. It seemed to me that like maybe it was kind of getting stuck going in rewind mode. So I bent this little this tab. See, it should be straight up and down, but I bent it ever so slightly back to try to, to make try to give it a little bit more play room, a little bit more you know wiggle room there to move. Now let's see what effect that had. I got to put this thing back together first. But hang on. All right, so here it is put back together. I'm gonna well. hang on.
Okay, back. All right, in my rush to reassemble it, I had bent the, uh, the little, two little contacts that when you press rewind and advance, you know, presses, and they were bent. So I had to bend them back. I'd take it apart, bend them back, put it back together. Now, all right, advance works. And more importantly, rewind. Okay. I'm going to turn on the computer. All right. Pop a little program in. Okay, save it. I don't have any audio. Hang on. Bad connection on the monitor. Okay, I gotta fix that. Alright, so up in my program once again. Alright. Okay. Save it. First, make sure the tape is rewound. Yeah. Just playing record. Return. seconds because the 800 XL had 64k memory and it had persistent RAM chips in it. Turn it on back immediately. It's like you didn't reset it at all. Now, let's load. No, not Claude. See, load. Let's play. The counter is working. So, problem solved. Stop and take. So, that is uh, an Atari 1010 cassette recorder fixed. I uh, replaced the two belts, one for the counter. One for the main drive. Uh, clean the heads on the player, and uh, had the minute had to bend that little metal bracket just a little bit to to take the tension off the uh, the cogwheel. So 
Okay, until next time.